Racer. I spend most of my time not dying. That's what living is for. I climb on a motorcycle. I climb on a cloud and rain. I climb on a woman I love. I repeat my themes. Here I am in Bologna again. Here I go again. Here I go again, getting happier and happier. I climb on a log, torpedoing toward the falls. Basically, it sticks out of me. The F-16s take off in a deafening flock, shattering the runway at the airbase at Cervia. They roar across horizontally and suddenly go straight up, and then they lean backwards and level off, and are gone till lunchtime, and surprisingly won. So funny to see the top guns out of their G-suits get so Italian in front of the fire crackling in the fireplace. Toasts are drunk to their guests, much use of hands. They are crazy about motorcycles in the officers' mess of the 23rd Squadron. Over a period of time, one plane in ten is lost. I hear the man with the silent chow-chow tooting his saxophone down in the street, Via del Independenza, Independent Street. The dog chats with no one. The man chats with everyone, with gusto and delight, and accepts contributions. At the factory, the racer being made for me is not ready, but is getting deadly. I am here to see it being born. It is snowing in Milan, the TV says. They close one airport, then both. The Lord is my shepherd and the director of superbike racing. He buzzes me through three layers of security to the innermost secret sanctum of the racing department. I enter the adytum. Trains are delayed. The Florence sky is falling snow. The man with the silent chow-chow is tooting in the street below my room at the Hotel Baglioni, the bag and bow, my marble home away from home, room 221. He buzzes me through three layers of security, poetry, politics, medicine, into the adytum. Tonight... Bologna's fog. This afternoon, there it was, with all the mechanics who were making it around it. It stood on a sort of altar. I stood in a sort of fog, taking digital photographs of my death.